growing up in the kind of was was interesting because it was all we knew we thought that we didn't we didn't know we were poor we knew we were loved and so in that sense we felt pretty rich my parents were perceived as um, people who were loving uh, but very strict disciplinarians and they had their standards and we had to abide by them there were no ifs ands or buts and there was no arguing with them. I have an appreciation for hard work and um, an appreciation for parents who did the right thing uh, and provided us with love mostly. We knew how hard they worked and my mom was very involved in the school system. So um, when we got home from school, there was a full meal prepared. We had to sit down as a family and tell about our day. Um, what we did or did not do, um, what the teachers did to us. And she used to always say, a winner never quits and a quitter never wins. So um, the thing they taught us is that, again, you're just as good, if not better, than the next person. So apply what you have. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing. Um, and to show love. Um, always treat people the way you'd like to be treated. We also didn't know that we were kind of considered the model family for that little community as far as African Americans were concerned. And I think it was because my mother had such high standards when it came to education. She just drilled into our heads that that was going to be our ticket out of poverty and that we must do well in school. We didn't have a choice. Because I always remember what my brothers and sisters told me about Say so two things you never get too much of, that's money and education. So when I uh, graduated, I worked with uh, a trucking business, Epps, and I worked with, the, uh, worked with the Parks and Rec Department, and I was working at the university as well. So I worked uh, pretty much around the clock. And of course, I was a young man at that time, but at the age I am now, I, I never did get tired at, at that time, but now I get tired watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> My brothers and sisters, um, they're the best in the world and the world's best. Uh, there is absolutely nothing that you can ask of any of them that they won't come through for you. Um, I shared the story with you, my brother Roy, when I was younger and had asthma, um, we had the wood stove and when my wheezing would start uh, and I could barely get my breath, he would get up and put a pot of water on the, on the stove to the point that it would make steam and would help me breathe. Um, so I told him if it were not for him, I probably wouldn't be alive today. So they will give, um, and they all really have agape love. It's unconditional. Um, they will bend over backwards to help any one of us. And I know for a fact, if I got in trouble today, they would all be, they would all come to my rescue and we would do the same for any of them.